In this video, I'd like to demonstrate for you a trick that will help you to calculate the cross product of a pair of vectors more easily. Now you'll often be given two vectors, for instance, A and B. And they're vectors because they have little hat symbols over them, so they have both a direction and a magnitude. And then you'll be asked to calculate the cross product of the two. That's denoted down here. A cross B is equal to another vector. So this is a fairly complicated operation that you have to perform to transform two vectors into a third vector through the cross product. Now, you may be given components for those vectors. For instance, a might be 1, 2, 3, where 1 is the x component, 2 is the y component, and 3 is the z component. And similarly for b, you might be given that the x, y, and z components are 4, 5, and 6. But let's get a little abstract to demonstrate the trick. Let's instead write the components of a as ax, ay, and az, and the components of b as bx, by, and bz. We're then interested in taking the cross product of these and calculating some third vector whose components we don't know. Let's call that vector c and denote its components cx, cy, and cz. Okay, well, we're given a and we're given b and we need to find c. How do we do that with a cross product? Here's the trick. Begin by writing the components of your vectors a and b as elements in a 3x3 three three matrix. For instance, here what I've done is I've taken ax, ay, and az and written them as the first row of this matrix. And I've taken bx, by, and bz and written them as the second row of this matrix. The components of the unknown vector c, cx, cy, and cz are written as the third row in this matrix. Now in order to compute the cross product, we begin as follows. Find the row and column that are occupied by the first component of the unknown vector cx and begin by crossing them off. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the product of ay, bz, az, and by. You can see here how the cross product gets its name. It's essentially the product of these components of the vectors across the diagonal of the remaining matrix. So cx then becomes ay times bz minus az times by. And now you have the first component of your unknown vector cx. Now in order to get the next component cy, what you need to do is take all the columns in your matrix and shift them to the left by one. What happens is that then the middle column before ay, by, and cy becomes the first column ay, by, and cy over here. And the original first column, ax, bx, and cx, is now the third column. It's basically been rotated around to the other side of the matrix. Now again, all you have to do is cross off the column and the row that correspond to the unknown element you want to find, cy. And all you have to do is, yet again, take the product across the diagonal of the remaining matrix, and then take the difference in the products. So now we have az bx minus ax bz and that's equal to cy. And then finally we just repeat the trick one more time. We now write a third matrix where again we shift all the columns over to the left by one and then the first column moves to the third position. So now we have the z components here, the x components in the middle, and the y components at the end of the matrix. We cross off the column and the row corresponding to the location of the unknown element cz and again, we multiply across the diagonal and take the difference. So we have that CZ is equal to the product of AX and BY minus AY and BX. And that's it. At this point now you have computed the cross product of two vectors A and B and obtained a third vector C which is perpendicular to the original two vectors and whose components are given by this trick.